Hi guys, I made another video here. I just wanted to show you what I've done to prevent my grid tile inverter from overheating. So as I've seen in some of your videos and there was a comment there on my one of my videos, um, they tend to overheat these grid tile inverters, the little ones, the 250, 300s. And um, I installed a, an, an extra fan. This is just a computer power source fan. Yeah, two six. Okay. There is just a twelve volt um, fan. I didn't use any bolts and screws, anything to to do. It's just temporary. I might, if I get around, I might do a better job there. Anyways, it's now connected. Um, so. I've connected the fan here so it's um, sucking the air from the grid tire and pushing pushing the air out so it helps the little fan that it's got built in as it, as it comes with. I'm going to put a second fan later on. It's just similar with the other one. So I'm going to put it on this side. So I'm going to start right there where the air is coming into the inverter. So, but I'll connect that fan so it sucks the air from outside and pushes it in the inverter. And then the other two fans, this one and, and the, the little one, they push the air out. So the circulation will be this way. So it'll be heaps more air will circulate and quicker through. So to keep it cool. Now, I didn't want to connect this to to take power from the from the house, as since I've got a battery bank right here. So I'll, uh, I've got a, the 120 watts panel coming through there into my Zantrax power charge control, which is then uh, charging the battery bank and the battery bank then gives power to this um, modified sign inverter this one further then I, I connected this power board and I've got this little um, converter just from uh, this is just taking the 240 volt and puts puts out 12 volt and then I adapted one of these car plugs the 12 volt so I just turn this one on so then through this cord here I installed another switch here then I'm going to turn the switch on and here I've got the fan turns on so I'm using the power from the battery bank because the battery bank is is a, is a 24 volt so I couldn't connect the I couldn't connect the fan straight I would have connected straight to the battery bank but it's 24 volt that's a 12 volt so I had to use this little adapter here to have the 12 volt option for it um, what else I've done to my system I no longer have the <coughs> the the second grid tie inverter which was exporting the power, taking the power from the batteries and puts puts it to the grid. There's too much power coming from the batteries. So I just have this one that is taking the power. This is connected to a twelve uh, to a yeah twelve volt solar panel, hundred watts. And yeah, that's putting the power straight to the grid. The then the hundred and twenty as I said is that's I'm just using the other panel to charge the battery bank. So yeah, here here I am. What else I've done? I put a just in case fire extinguisher. Um, heavy handy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What I have in this video for you. Thanks for watching.